Hey, seventh grade waivers. It's Miss Garcia. And Miss Kane. And we're here to talk to you today about the structure of DNA. All right, so the first thing is, what is DNA? What does DNA stand for? DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Um, and as you can see, we have DNA here um, coiled up, and it turns into chromosomes. And chromosomes can be found in the nucleus of cells. Um, DNA makes up chromosomes, and as we mentioned earlier, it coils around something called histones. And histones are basically um, proteins that are found along the DNA. The DNA is wound up so tightly around the histones that it's kind of like a rubber band when you wind it really, really tight. It kind of winds up on itself. And this is exactly what chromosomes are made of. All right, so looking at what is DNA, the parts of DNA, DNA is mainly comprised of what we call nucleotides. And nucleotides consist of three basic parts. So we have a portion of the outsides of the latter, okay, which we call phosphate and pentose sugar. And these are the sides of the ladders. And then connected to the internal structure of DNA, these are different nitrogen bases. Um, so as you can see, nucleotides come together and form the whole structure of the DNA. We call it a double helix. So you have, again, the phosphate and sugar. Like Ms. Garcia said, they make up the sides of the ladder. And then you have um, nitrogenous base pairs that pair up on either side to make what we call the rungs. So there's four different types of um, nitrogen bases. The first one is adenine, and we have cytosine, thymine, and guanine. And a lot of times you'll see them, um, the different little shapes, like we have kind of the little arrow shape and then a flag shape for adenine and thymine. Um, guys, they're not actually shaped like that, but a lot of times we'll see them be color-coded or shaped that way so you understand that they pair together. So adenine will pair with thymine and cytosine will pair with guanine. And they're made of a different chemical structure, so this is why we kind of use symbols to represent them, but actually they're just made of different chemical compounds. So there's certain nucleotides that only bond with other nucleotides, or excuse me, certain bases that bond with other bases. So we have adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, okay? Adenine will always bond with thymine, and thymine will always bond with adenine. They won't bond with any other bases. They will always form a base pair together. The same goes with cytosine and guanine. They will always pair together. You will never see cytosine with thymine or guanine with adenine. So on your note sheet, um, go ahead and mark those two. Adenine and thymine pair together and cytosine and guanine pair together. Um, so here we have one side of um, the DNA structure and then um, we have another side of the DNA structure. So you can see at the very top we have on the left, there's adenine, and then, like we said, it's always going to pair with thymine. So on the right, there's thymine. And then um, second one down, we have cytosine on the left, and then guanine on the right. So these are the ones that are going to pair together. All right, the bases are arranged in triplets called codons. So when we are looking at uh, the genetic code of DNA, the codes are always um, kind of arranged or written in these codons. So as you can see, um, the codons that are in front of you are A, G, G, then C, T, C, then A, A, G, then T, C, C, and last T, A, G. So what we would like for you to do on your note page is we want you to write down what would the complementary codons be that go along with this uh, string of codons. So what would be across from A? Then what would be across from G? And so on and so forth, okay? So go ahead and stop the video and write them down. All right, so hopefully this is what you came up with on your note page. Adenine is always paired with thymine. Guanine is always paired with cytosine. So A and T are together and G and C are together. So our complementary codons are TCC, G A G T T C A G G A T C. 
Okay, so as we've said, um, DNA is this really long double helix structure. Um, there are sections of it that code, they're called a gene, okay? And we've heard of genes before. Genes, um, where they will call or create a code for a specific protein and series of proteins then code for a specific trait that you'll find. So for example, this one is hitchhiker's thumb, okay? So a little segment of DNA will code for a specific trait or phenotype, which we'll discuss later. And genes do all sorts of things for phenotypes, so that's what kind of codes for our different color skin, our different color eyes, different hair color. Uh, whether we have, like Miss Kane said, the hitchhiker's thumb, or we can make witch fingers, or double jointed, all kinds of things um, that we can show outward um, are due to these genes, these sections of DNA that code for proteins that give us these traits. Um, okay, so all of your cells have DNA in them, and sometimes our cells will replicate, okay? When they do this, we have to copy all of the DNA. So what happens is um, we have some enzymes that come in and break the bonds that are between the uh, nitrogen bases, okay? So you can see um, that they're broken here. Then we have nucleotides that would pair up with uh, the appropriate base pair, so right here we have a, th a thymine that's um, available. So a adenine nucleotide would come in and pair up with the thymine and then next to adenine or this adenine would have a thymine and so forth. And so you can see here at the bottom where they've started pairing up again and we have actually exact copies of our DNA. So this is called DNA replication. Also when the DNA unzips, as you can see on this picture to the right, there's different hydrogen bonds between the different base pairs. So as you can see between cytosine and guanine, you see that there are more hydrogen bonds there rather than adenine and thymine. So when an enzyme comes in to unzip the DNA so that it can replicate, it's going to break the bonds between adenine and thymine first because it's an easier bond to break and takes less energy than trying to open up or break the bond of cytosine and guanine. All right, guys, we have a DNA wrap video for you guys. Break it down. The DNA, the DNA, the DNA makes protein. The DNA, the DNA. Never ending. Polypolypeptides ever ending. And say 
and the chance mutation precisely copies each creation. DNA is the star of this fanciful tale in the smallest mouse and the largest whale, determining your features into the last detail from the cellular obsession life on Earth shall prevail. Alright guys, thanks for joining us about DNA. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.